this one the application that I did first time, so it's like you can see that explosion and then the pop flying to that person. You can see the, his reaction. I mean, yeah, he's like fanning up the fire. So it's like reaction like this get me started with virtual reality. I mean, it's actually like wow. I mean, long long time ago, who I mean. You need, you need to create something like, you know, Titanic, whatever, to invoke this kind of reaction, right? I mean, you need to like put on a lot of resources and all this kind of thing to achieve this kind of stuff. But with virtual reality, actually, you just need to assemble a good, good amount of team. Then you start to work on the 3D environment, whatever. Then you can actually move, move them inside this situation already easily, right? To invoke this kind of feeling. I mean, no other medium you can do something like this. That's that virtual reality, I would say. Right. So th that's the one one aspect of it, which is you can invoke certain emotion and all this kind of thing. And then the second secondly is this. Right. I mean the five controller is pretty awesome. Right. You just you basically can throw throw it to a person and then you grab it and start to do stuff. Right. I mean it's really intuitive and then it's really accurate. So which means that you got the all this kind of you got three-dimensional freedom of creating stuff because you can actually trap your hand and all all this kind of stuff. Right. So I'll say that virtual reality is great, right? But where should I start to do with VR? I think a lot of us is uh, when we start stumble upon virtual reality, we're like, okay, what should we do with this? Right. So so I'll say that the the first use case is pretty simple. Right, game. Right, user virtual reality for user to play. You got 200 plus plus game in Steam VR already, and then there's a lot of AAA titles coming soon. Right, so it's like four out four. I think it's starting that uh, will be releasing in 2017. Right, and then do VR also. So you can see that all this kind of game is like you just basically creating first person shooter game, and all this kind of interaction can be created using HTC Vive. So it's like. Later, I think you guys can test it out outside. Roy set up a HCUST voice session out there already. Right. So, and then another thing is the virtual reality for user to experience. It's just like uh, to look at the environment around you so that, because you, you, if you can't imagine, so you can achieve this by right, doing videos and all this kind of thing. But really, if you want to, you can basically teleport that person to that location easily using virtual reality. The, to achieve what you want to achieve easier, right? And then virtual reality for creativity and productivity, right? So you can see that uh, that is a really cool tool it's called Stunt Stage, I think. Yeah, so this actually allows you to actually create uh, music using virtual reality. And I think that's Envelope VR, where it allows you to uh, work on productivity tools, like even do doing simple protein modeling using this one. And yeah, that's Unreal Engine and this tilt brush to actually allow you to actually create art using virtual reality. Right, so virtual reality is great, right? So what's the skill needed for this? I mean, so to achieve uh, all the kind of application that you've seen uh, in front, you actually need, uh, there's three specialization of virtual reality content professional, professional, I would, I would say. So, the first one is the cinematic VR creation. So, so how do you create the 360 videos that you've seen in like YouTube, Facebook, and all this kind of thing? It's actually using that's Ozo and that's you. Yeah, of course, that's if you want to achieve higher quality, you need to uh, use uh, uh, GoPros and whatever. I think later uh, Hyrule Lab will tell you more about it. I won't go down to details about this thing. So. And then the VR, and then another way to achieve this is creating a virtual reality uh, native app and games. So it's like Tip Brush and all this kind of games. Most likely you need to learn how to uh, use Unity or Unreal to achieve that. So I want, I just want to give you guys an overview of virtual reality and stuff like that. I wouldn't go down to details. Right. So I would recommend this virtual reality dev school thing. I think it's pretty cool. So they got all this kind of videos inside already. So it's like we can actually uh, run through everything to get you started with virtual reality development. Especially the Vive one is pretty good. Also the Oculus one is pretty good also. Right. So and then another 
another expat is a black Vianda woman. So I, I don't think it's like ready yet, but I think if any one of you all is a web developer, might want to explore this a little bit because this is quite cool. I mean, recently they actually started with this link travels thing. So it's like imagine your A, uh, you, you are traveling between website and then you're actually traveling you, using this method. So it's like the, if you guys play the lab, later you guys should test it out. The lab which is allow you to actually grab a, a spear like you've seen just now to actually travel between world. Right, so it's like instead of clicking on a link, you're actually grabbing a link and then putting it on your face, and you just type it all over the time. Yeah. So is it running? I think that's running on the frame. I don't think they haven't released the the link traverse yet. I just I just saw the tweet yesterday, so I decided to add it in. Right. So and then another way to to go about is the web VR, web VR, which is more complicated. I would definitely recommend the a frame VR uh, way, which is to create the what do you call that? To create the virtual reality scene just by writing that line of code, which looks like HTML. Right. So that, that's all about that. So I just want to give you guys an overview of what virtual reality is. Is I mean to get you guys excited about virtual reality and what can be achieved, and then you know, and then how how you guys going to get started with it. I mean, in case anyone that is not familiar with VR, haven't started with VR yet. So, <coughs> so and then, then I will be talking about the, the virtual reality scene around Southeast Asia. So, when we started around 2015, uh, I think it's around July, then someone, Lex from uh, Brisbane VR actually found us and then we actually did this uh, Asia, Asia Pacific Virtual Reality Network. So by then we got around like, I think, I think it's around 500, 600 people. I think it's 500 people. So around, around Shanghai, I think it's Shanghai VR, VR Philippines, Abu Dhabi VR, Istanbul VR, VR Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Brisbane. So that time is like 2015, July. So it's like in the online that we got around 400, 500 people, and then we talk about all sorts of other stuff. So every city is actually, uh, every meetup actually contribute one speaker. So everyone talk about virtual reality stuff in, as a presentation. So it's quite cool that in 2015, we actually do something like this already. And then we are planning around October, we do something similar. So we'll see how that goes then. But you can see that the, the scene around here is like growing. I mean, people started to do a lot of stuff. Like uh, recently, uh, VR Philippines just started a, uh, Virtual reality conference in Philippines. It's quite cool that they actually did the uh, mobile VR jam over there, which they actually, actually assembled a, assemble a really good team to actually develop some mobile VR stuff. Like the Zoo VR thing is quite cool. And then the one that 